thanks for tuning in. This is Warner here in the Barry Bot 3D uh, printer. We're going to be doing a test cube today that's got some hollow voids in the middle of it. Um, James Daniels from RipRap was asking about how uh, deltas do in holding shape. So at the end of this model, we'll go ahead and um, measure it and see how it does for squareness. Uh, it's also the first time I'm first print I'm doing with um, that Keep It Simple slicer. Really nice program. I really like the way it's uh, sliced some models that I put in it, and uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how that does um, uh, actually printing the models. Anyways, hope you enjoy it. Well, James, there's your cube. I'll do a G28. Get the head up out of the way. I don't know. Looks pretty nice. Incidentally, this is a 0.2, uh, 0.2 um, uh, layer height. It's, it really feels really nice. This is the first uh, print that I've done with K-Slicer. Um, and I did not use, um, I printed this on my Surface, uh, using my Surface. You can see right over here. Surface. That's a Microsoft Surface uh, tablet computer. So the print turned out quite nice. I was doing some other testing, James, so it kind of worked out. Um, I'll grab my micrometer here, we'll see what we got in the way of, uh, go ahead and I'll zero this out here. So there's zero, zero. My camera's not really behaving too well. So, that's, that's zero. And we've got... Got about 29.99 by, and this is still on, still on the machine. We've got about this way. We've got 29.99, 30 actually, and about 29.9. I don't know if you can see that 99. 30. It's right there. Depends on how hard I push on it. But I'll go ahead and pop it off right here. Go ahead and peel up my tape. It did round the corners just a hair. Oh, by the way, I did this cold. There was no heat on the platen whatsoever. So it's a little rounded on the bottom edge here, but that's to be expected when it's cold. So, gosh, that turned out I don't know if you can see that in the camera. This, um, I'll bring it into the better, better light on my bench. But that, man, that turned out really amazing. That's 0.2. So on this direction, this is in, in the Z height. Got a little bit of CA on the bottom, but it looks like we're getting... Looks like it's about 
30.41 and I've got a little bit of goo under here but this way we've got we're right at about 29.96 and this way 29.95 and as far as squareness is concerned I have my little tiny square here and it's it's dead nuts perfect I don't know if you can see that we'll take it over to the bench right now and check it out but it's it's absolutely perfect in squareness so you really can't ask for any better than that we'll go take it over to the bench and check it out well I'm over here at my workbench and um, I've got a different mic micrometer here but looks like I'm right at about 29.92 millimeters there and about 29.92 millimeters uh, that way as well and this way about still got a few goobers on it but looks like 30.52 millimeters now this could be a little jacked up because um, when this was bowing up it could have deformed it a little bit but as far as squareness is concerned it's I don't know if you can see that it's pretty much perfect I don't know if that's showing up or not it's my little square so and then this direction perfect perfectly square and this one perfectly square so James I think this confirms that whoever said anything that deltas can't be can't do a really good job holding shape um, they didn't try it anyways yeah I'm really really happy you know what's amazing to me this this right here this this finish that you see on here this is 200 uh, uh, point two layer height that's that's pretty darn nice 200 it's literally smooth hey you know um, the slicer uh, that K slicer man it did a nice job um, this is some I was doing some testing with some fill uh, this is support structure inside here and I was messing around with some different stuff but uh, anyways um, yeah it's I'm um, pretty amazed. Uh, it turned out really amazingly nice. So yeah, Delta's rock. As a side note, I just wanted to mention, um, you can see all this uh, debris here. I just broke out the, um, the support structure that was in there. And you know, amazingly, and you'll see it in the video, that support structure was pretty heavy, it looked to me. But um, it came out of there actually quite nice. I just went in with my, um, my little utility knife and I just scraped a little bit. It's still got just a little bit of heavy spots, but even the dimensions on the inside of this thing, this is about 10.01 by about 10 point about 9.95 and they're all pretty close they're pretty close to all of them are reading just about the same so that's also something that's pretty interesting with that case like sir I kind of like it um, very nice anyway just thought I'd point that out because that's important to know yeah